Hey residents of Meeple Town, today we are looking at the Dominion app from Temple Gates Games. Now this is a game that if you've followed our channel know that I have this in my top 50, a game that I really love. I've played this a lot over the years, sometimes digitally, but a lot of times face to face. But this is maybe, at least for me, kind of a long awaited app version of this game. I know that there used to be an, an app at some point, I used to have that, and I, I would play it quite a bit, but this is quite the upgrade in a lot of ways to the old version that used to be around. So we're going to kind of jump in. I'm going to talk about some of the features for this game. This is by Templegate Games. They did uh, one of the games that we had talked about that we had done a video for in the past, Roll for the Galaxy, another game that I absolutely love, and we quite enjoyed that app version of it. And so I was excited to hear that Temple Gates was putting out another game that I really love. But just to kind of give you an idea of, of some of the features of this game and, and some things to look forward to, and I'll, I'll kind of show you in the app. I'll, I'll do a playthrough of the game as well. Not guaranteed to win this game. In fact, I'll probably lose, and you can mock me in the comments, and that's fine. But So start off, we've got the new game on here. There's an online play of this. Now, it's not available right now. This is just the beta form of the game. But there will be one to four player cross platform multiplayer. You can do solo player uh, against the AI, which is what we're going to be doing today. You can do pass and play mode. There's uh, again, you know, online play and all that good stuff that you might expect. And one of the things, other things that you might really be expecting is what kind of expansions are we looking at for this? And so if you click on the new game, you're going to see that we're going to have all of the goodness from Dominion available. Now, right now, that's not the case. We just have the base intrigue and seaside that we're going to be demoing and, and showing you right now. But just know that you can be looking forward to paying. Well, So the base game is going to be free, and then beyond that, you will pay for the expansions for whatever you want. Now, the base game comes with, if I remember right, it's 26 of the different kingdom sets which is a lot of of gameplay but if you throw in everything else all of the expansions all the goodness you're going to have if i remember right reading the the email it was 66 sextillion ways uh, different setups for the game which might take you a couple days to play all of those <laughs> sets just kidding you will never ever play all of the sets that are available if you get them however it's nice to know that you have the opportunity to do that and for somebody like me who who made it as far as i believe guilds is as far as i have uh, all the sets uh, outside of alchemy i don't have that one but i stopped buying after guilds and i've really wanted to check out the other ones and so this will be a great opportunity for me to check out the new expansions for this game that i've loved for a really long time and a lot of people have this was the 2008 Spiel de Jars winner. So we're going to create a game. A couple things I do want to point out as, as we're kind of playing through this. Now, I don't know exactly, you know, what is missing from the beta version of this game. But one thing that I was really noticeable, it, unless I have a setting wrong on here, but there's no music on here. So if you go to the settings, you can change the animation, the graphics, which is good, and the text size, which is really good too, because you can make that jumbo size text which can really help out if if that's an issue with if you have an issue with eyesight uh being able to see the the smaller text on that so it's good that they have that option on there again as well as the animation and graphics but i didn't see anything on here for the music so there might not be any music available i don't know some people that's positive negative oftentimes i don't really play with the music so it doesn't really matter to me either way uh, in this game, if you've never played the game before, I'll just kind of give you a brief overview. In the rule book, it's the it has three different actions that it says that you can take. It's but but I'm an, I'll, the way I teach this game is I say it's the ABCs of Dominion. You're gonna have your action is the A, buy is the B, and then the cleanup is the C. They call it discard if I remember right in the rule book. <clears throat> Excuse me, but essentially what you're gonna do is you are going to play any action cards that you have. Now those are the kingdom cards that you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to buy. At the beginning of the game, you're only going to start off with copper and estate cards. Estate cards are victory points. You've got the estates, duchies, and provinces that you can see over on the left side. That's how you're going to win the game is by getting the most points. But they also clog your deck. They're not going to... In, nobles are a little bit different in this one. I'll show you that in just a little bit. But but for the most part, those uh, estate cards, those, those victory point cards, are just going to clog your deck and, and give you points at the end of the game. So right now, uh, you start off with 10 cards. You're going to deal yourself 5 and again, play your action cards. We don't have any at the beginning of the game. For the first two rounds, we won't have any. Then you're going to buy, so we'll play our treasures. Now, you can 
click on those individually or like a lot of the, the different versions of deck builders, you can just hit the button that plays all of your treasures into, into play. And then this shows you I've got three copper and I can buy anything that is three or less. That price is listed on the bottom left-hand corner of the card. And if you hold down the card, it'll show you what the what the card is going to do so in this case the smugglers allows you to gain a copy of the card costing up to six that the player to your right gained on the last turn so you can copy what they are uh you excuse me you can copy what they are buying for a card up to six cost which is really good and then courtyard allows you to gain three cards put the card from your hand um onto your deck and so that's kind of a the, the smithy uh, a version of the smithy if you know that card that that card in the the base set where you just draw three cards and keep them now i mentioned that you play the action cards you can only do one action one buy and then you clean up now there are cards that allow you to change the rules they'll give you more actions give you more buys give you more cards all of that good stuff but right now we just have that so they'll take their turns really quickly you can actually play your cards as they're playing as long as you're not being affected by what they're doing and again, so what we're going to do, we've got four copper. I hit the play treasure card. And I tend to like the villages. So this one is the mining village, which gives you one card and two actions. And you may trash this for an additional two coins. Money lender allows you to trash copper from your hand for three three coins. And that's in the, in the base set. The remodel trash card from your hand. Gain a card costing up to two more than it, which is a pretty... Uh, a pretty nice card as well. Not as good as the, uh, what is it, the mine, I think it is, that gives you three more than the one that you're trashing. But I think what I'm going to do, again, I mentioned that I, I really, normally I really like villages, so I'm going to go that route, even though that money lender is a good one to get right off the bat. All right, so they're just going to be playing. Ooh, they had a big, big buy that time. They bought the witch, which is not good for me, so I'm going to try to get a witch as soon as I can. What the witch does is she attacks you. And what that means is that when she, when the other player plays the witch, I'm going to gain a curse card, and that's going to be a negative one point and clog up my deck. So I really want to try to get rid of that as quickly as I can. So I'm just going to buy some silver right now to hopefully be able to have a bigger hand. Okay, now I'm playing my action card. Again, I get one action. So the Mining Village, I, play, I gain a card and plus two actions, and I can trash that one for two more coins. Hmm... That is actually kind of tempting. That will allow me to get a gold right off the bat, or I can... I think I will do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So that's going to give me two, and then I've got four, and then I can either pick up this noble... Actually, I can buy anything right now except a province. But the noble allows me to choose one to gain three cards or two actions, which is really nice to have two, plus it gives you two victory points. Again, this is an expansion card. For the most part, the victory point cards that you're going to get are just going to clog up your deck. That one is an exception, which allows you to take an action so it's not just clogging it up. And here we go. The witch is already in <laughs> getting some curse cards in my hand. So right off the bat, I need to go ahead and buy a witch. There's nothing that I can do to stop that right now. You do have cards sometimes that will allow you to uh, negate those, those actions that they have uh, when you're being attacked. I've got seven by right now, but only one by power. Mm, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a gold. I might just go heavy in the money because if the witch is going to be giving me a lot of curse cards and I can't stop it, then I'm going to need to buy a lot of victory point cards. So I'm going to play the treasure and I think now I'll go ahead and take that smuggler and maybe I'll be able to get something good from, from the witch. Witch plays a courtyard to gain more cards. Wow. And gets lots of coins and buys the first province of the game. Now the game is going to end when that province stack is empty probably it's you can also end it by having multiple stacks that are gone from the game but typically that's what's going to happen is as soon as that province stack is gone that will trigger the end of the game so i think i just need to go ahead and buy a province since that's i have money to do that now wow i'm getting hit by that witch a lot so i'm gonna hit right back i guess give them a a curse card and let's see i do have Six buy power. This is, if you look on the about the middle of the screen on the left side, that's going to show you how many actions you have, how many buys you have, and then how many coins that you can have to buy. So I'm going to go ahead and I might start loading up on nobles now instead of buying gold so that I can get those victory points that I'm going to need to, to counteract those curses, but also will give me 
ability to, ability to get some other things. So I did gain a copy of a duchy that time, which is really helpful. That's, that's a good card for me to get right now. Again, that's, you know, just taking that action that they have just give, basically gives me a free card. So I'm going to take the silver, which in that case was three victory points. All right. And again, I will go ahead and play the uh, this one all the way through. Another thing I didn't, I have not mentioned this. And again, this is a beta version of the game. This might change, but there is not that I could tell a way to undo your action. So I've played this a lot now. And there are several times that I've actually hit the wrong button or, you know, accidentally hit the screen or something like that. And you can't go back and, and edit your turn, which is a bit frustrating. And I get, you know, for speed of play, this game is, is typically pretty fast. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, but but it it you know can be frustrating at times again with the witch i believe they've got yeah they do they have two witches now there's a count if you can see on the bottom right of those cards to see how many cards are taken they started off with 10 and the three are gone and i only have one so they have two i'll do the smuggler i actually didn't even see what they bought they bought a gold which is good so that's going to give me a free gold and then i will let's see what do i want to get I've only got four. I think I might just get another mining village. That's going to allow me to get more cards into my hand and then have more actions. The good thing is I'll be able to attack with the witch's time. Got the mining village. And if I want to get rid of that, I can. Hmm. That's a tough one, actually. I don't think I'm going to this time. I'm going to decline getting rid of it. And then the witch will give me two more cards. And hopefully I'll get what I need. And I did to be able to do. Um, oh, no, I only got seven. I actually should have discarded that. Whoops. I didn't think that through. So I'm just going to buy a Noble and get a couple more victory points and then have some more actions that I'm getting from there. I've only got three buy power this time. And I think, you know, we, there's still a lot of provinces left. We still have a lot of game. I might be able to get something good from the Smuggler, maybe a Noble or uh, a Duchy or something like that that will help. Noble's going to allow me to, I'm going to gain some cards here, hopefully get some money, and I did eight exactly and so i will get a province we are getting close to be about halfway through this game i didn't see how, that might have been the last curse that was taken yes and if you notice i didn't mention this but you have a running total of the score which is an interesting thing too because in dominion you don't usually know exactly where you are in the score of what everyone's taken because all your cards are being shuffled up and all that but right now we know that the score is 15 to 16 right now and i'm gonna have to do some things to really catch up here. Oh, there was another curse. That was the last curse. I was looking in the wrong spot of the screen. So below the estate shows the count of how many curse cards are in the game. So they gained the last curse. That helped me out quite a bit. I don't need a witch for sure because that's not going to help me out at all. I think I'm going to buy a duchy. I'm just going to start loading up on victory points as much as I can right now. They played the noble. I'm hoping that they have a, a decent buy without buying a province this time. And they did. They bought a duchy, which means if I play the smuggler, which I will, then I will be able to gain a duchy as well. Let's see. I don't have much to buy. I can buy an estate and the game. Uh, we still got some game, but I think I will. I rarely buy estates, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. As this game kind of ramps up, we both have a decent amount of gold. We might be buying provinces and duchies and everything up and end the game quickly. So I want to make sure that I've got as many points as I can get, especially because they have the lead right now. So I will play the mining village. That is going to, let's see, three, four, five. If I get rid of that, I'll have six, seven. Hmm. But I don't have any other cards that I'm going to draw. So that's, I'm going to decline. I'm going to keep that mining village again. I'll play the smuggler to gain... I actually didn't see what they... They must have bought a province, so I actually didn't gain anything. I'm going to play my treasure. Five. I probably should have, actually, now that I think about it. I should have bought... I should have got rid of my card that time to give me two more coins that I could have bought a noble with and got some more victory points. But instead, I bought a duchy and got some points there. The game is tied up right now. Uh, let's see. Ooh, once again, I did not see what they bought, but I'm pretty sure they did not buy... I'm going to need some coins. I'm pretty sure they... Actually, they probably did buy a duchy, and I just messed that up. But oh well. That's okay. Uh, I only have two coins to buy something. I will go ahead and get an estate again. Again, kind of clogging my deck up. But hopefully, I'll be able to get some better stuff here. Okay. I will 
Ooh, none of this is really good at all. Unless I draw two coins. Mm, yeah, I've clogged my deck up quite a bit. I'm going to end my buy. I've clogged my deck up quite a bit with with victory point cards and it's I'm just not getting a lot of coins right now. That's not that's not great for me. Because I'm going to have two turns in a row when I'm not able to buy anything and I just keep I could buy something. I could have bought an estate right then, but again, I'm, I'm I guess I'm trying not to clog my deck up. Play my treasure. That's going to give me six coins. Give me the noble, which will put me slightly in the lead. But we're getting really close for the game, where the game's going to be ending soon. The good thing is I will be able to buy a province this time. Mining village, mining village. I'm not getting any extra buys. I probably, hmm. Yeah, I don't need it. Since I only have one buy, I'll decline that. I'll play my treasures, and then I'll buy a province here. Giving myself the lead again. I'm just going to buy an estate because, again, the game is getting close to being finished. And that actually did finish the game. We did have enough stacks that were gone. I said that probably the province stack would be the thing that ends the game, and I was totally wrong. However, I did win the game. Yay me! I did it. So overall, I love the game. I mean, Dominion's one of my favorite games anyway. I would say my biggest complaint would be that, you know, sometimes you can play an app version of a game too much, and then it you kind of gain advantage over other players. Now, I don't think I'll do that as much because I don't learn as much. I, <laughs> I don't take advantage of all the games that I'm playing, but... But that's an issue in a game like this, and, and there's lots of games like this where this one is, you know, takes five minutes to play, ten minutes to play, or whatever, or like Seven Wonders, the app versions of that, or, or even Roll for the Galaxy. You can get an advantage, so we actually play people face-to-face. -face. It might not be as much fun for them, so that's the biggest disadvantage of doing this. But if you really love Dominion, and you've been waiting for this app for a long time, wanting to get all the goodness for it, I highly recommend picking this up, especially because, again, the base game is going to be free and then you can just buy those other expansion packs if i if i remember right it's like five to ten dollars for each of those that you're going to buy uh, but you'll be able to see the prices on on that and, and again everything that's going to be available for that game this was i was adding in the base game intrigue and seaside but you can kind of add those in as you want you don't have to add everything in at one time especially if you know for me again i don't have some of those newer expansions so i'm probably going to go and pick those up whenever they're available so that i can learn some of those and see if they're ones that i want to pick up for the physical copy of the game so i hope that helps a lot of fun, especially if you love Dominion. I feel like this is a no-brainer. Check this one out. If you'd like to get in touch with us, definitely reach out to us on all of our uh, social media outlets. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's at Meepletown Games. You can go to our website, MeepletownGames.com. Connect with us on Board Game Geek Guild number 3407. But also we have a Patreon if you'd like to support us. You can go to Patreon.com slash Meepletown. I believe that's right, Meepletown. Meepletown Games, something along those lines. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meepletown. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meepletown Games and connect with us on the Meepletown Guild, guild number 3407, at boardgamegeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meepletown.